Alright, good morning everybody. Um, well, I was uh, browsing the forums here a few minutes ago and I... Oh. Here. Anyway, I was uh, browsing the uh, DPS forums here. And, um, as the Monk is currently my favorite class right now, and I'm probably going to be playing him exclusively, at least for a while, I thought I'd go, here, go on the DPS forums and there was a thing on the... Uh, forum post on uh, my reaction to Shadowbringers changes. So I went ahead and uh, pulled I went ahead and pulled them up. I clicked both of these links. So because of that, because they take up the entire screen and I can't scroll it up and down. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. But here's Oh and by the way, I'm doing this completely blind. Like I haven't looked at these already so and here's combo. Let me do this. Okay, so nothing here looks any different. Grant's leaden fist. Oh, leaden fist potency? Huh? I don't know what that is. Okay, potency of 190, critical damage of dealt to a target's rear. What the hell is Leaden Fist? It looks like their damage has been increased, though. I think uh, Bootshine's uh, original potency is like 140 or 150 or something like that. Uh, same thing here, True Strike. That was like 180. It was 180, but now it's 220. 220 and execute from a target's flank. Okay, looks like nothing really changed there. Attack policy of 170. Oh, okay. So it kind of looks like they nerfed this then. It's, I think um, originally... Um, Dragon Kick lowered a lowered target's blunt resistance by like 10% or something like that. So now they just basically made it so. It just upped the potency if you had it. Letting fist for uh, 15 seconds, so. So basically what this means here, I could just keep hitting boot shine over and over and over and over. Yeah. Yeah, letting... Oh wait, no you can't, no you can't. Duh. So yeah, they basically nerfed this is what they did. It's now, uh... Basically, letting fist is only gonna work for, uh... It's only going to work once when you're in opal opal form, but then it changes you to raptor. So, yeah. So that basically got a nerf. Um, everything else here doesn't really look changed. So we got AOE. Uh, looks like they removed the silence out of this. It was almost a point, almost pointless to have in here anyway. Four point fury. Ah. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting right here. Extends twenty six by ten seconds. On the downside, though. I'm almost forced to use an AOE ability when I may not want to. Just looking over here, uh, True Strike uh, doesn't doesn't increase the duration at all, so I'd almost be forced to use. Yeah, I, it's a bit convoluted here. If anything, they should have made a. 
They should have added it to True Strike as well. Not just over here, because again, I may not I may not actually want to use an AoE ability at, at that time. But if I need if a twin snakes is about to fall off, I might have to use that instead. It just seems kind of weird it's being attached to an AoE ability and not a single target one. And look, but otherwise, it doesn't look like anything else has been changed. Uh, stances. Okay, nothing really changed here. Nothing really changed here. Six sided star. Lightning duration. An app man? Whoa! Oh! Riddle of. So they got rid of uh, Riddle of Wind and Riddle of, Riddle of Fire. So basically, they're nerfing the shit out of Fists of Wind. I liked it because. I liked it because of Riddle of Wind. It um, grants an additional stack. So let me try to understand this one. Six-sided star. Extends grease lightning duration to maximum, okay? Riddle of Earth did the same thing. Halt the expiration of Grease Lightning in your present form. Huh? This weapon skill does not share a recast timer. Timer for this actually applied to all the weapon skills and magic actions. So it's basically increasing the cooldown on all other abilities by five seconds. I want my old uh, Riddle of Wind back. Plus, I really don't want to have to go back to stance dancing either. Halt the expiration of. So I'm guessing this is something you want. This is something you want to use when you're off. Uh, Grease lightning is down to one second. Okay, I don't like where that one's going. So let me look up here. That kind of reeks of World of Warcraft right here. They're starting to add charges to it now. Monk's getting fucked. They're getting screwed on the next expansion. This is part of a uh, riddle of wind right here. You could um, you could charge twice. The second charge gave you an extra stack of grease lightning. Which going back down here. Oh, 
one down here. Now I forgot where it was. Oh, increase the stacks of grease lightning. And I'm guessing all this does here, it gives you one extra stack. So yeah, they're nerfing Riddle a win. That was a, that was probably, that's pretty much a core ability in my class. Gotta be able to move fast and I gotta have that extra, extra stack. Well. Looks like they didn't do anything with this one. Enlightenment. Uh. And a straight line before you. All under the effect of the fifth chakra. Well, they pop this is here. Um, I forget the name of the ability. Some kind of rock or rock fist or wave smash or something like that is a straight line ability. You can only use it every uh, forty-five seconds or something like that. So it looks like they, this here, sort of, kind of a buff. You basically have to keep using a, you have, I have to keep hitting, casting chakra five times in order to get a one-time use out of this. So, it just made it more manual. Um, let me go back up here. But like I said, Riddle of Wind got nerfed. Hadn't changed, this one here hadn't changed. Oh, Monk's getting fuckled hard. It just got, it just got a, nerfed into a two minute cooldown. I mean, it, it used to be a one minute, one minute cooldown. This one here hasn't changed. Okay, that hasn't changed. Um, I think they nerfed the, uh, the recast on this. It's now a little bit slower. I believe it right now it's just one second, not 1.2. So, no. They didn't change that one. And they nerfed this one hard. This, this one here just might be the ability, if this goes through, this might be the ability here that kills any... Kills a lot of my interest in Monk. I mean, perfect balance was a perfect cooldown. One minute. Um, they nerfed this one too. I don't recall it being 30%, maybe 50%. So they nerfed that one. Yeah, so 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 far I ain't liking this at all. So let me um let me go to the next one. Second, third. Allows the accumulation of charges for consecutive uses of shoulder tackle. I'll take that though. Okay, so. Uh, I don't. Looking at this, I wouldn't. I don't think this is neither a buff nor a nerf. Riddle, this one here, it just. It's just done differently. upon dealing critical damage they, they need to make hang on, let me they need to make this a hundred percent I mean having having double RNG is just stupid I mean because dealing critical damage is already low percentage anyway to begin with 
So I don't understand why you'd want to put another RNG chance on top of it. I mean, hell, and even when you have, even when you have a full five, a full five stacks, it's not like you really, you can really do a whole lot with it. I mean, 220 is straight line attack. That's it. Forbidden Chakra. That's it. Um, I don't... Yeah, like, those are the only two abilities you can use five chakras on. There's that, um... I'm not even sure they have it in here. I forget the name of it, but it's the one that, uh... It grants you, like, 300 TP or something like that. I don't even know where it is, but it ain't here anymore, so... Which, yeah, now that I think about it, it looks like they got rid of it. So... So what the hell am I supposed to do when I have, you know, when I run out of T, when I, when I run out of TP from all the AOE I'm doing? I mean, it's not like, uh, I mean, it's not like uh, battles are gone and in like 10 seconds. I mean, a lot of times it lasts a while. I mean, especially if I have the other DPSs I'm with don't know what they're doing. I mean, my TP is going to drain like crazy. And I just noticed this too. I don't see it. Are they removing TP? I just noticed this. I don't see a, I don't see a TP cost in any of these. No, that that'd be cool if they got rid of it. But if but if they don't, I mean, the Buck's gonna get severely fuckled on the AOE front. He's going to drain all his TP down to zero and he's going to tell the rest of the group, sorry, shouldn't have pulled Big Tank. Ran out of TP, so enjoy watching the healer's mana drop to nothing. Okay, I understand what this is. I understand what this is. Hang on, let me move it back. I understand what this is now. Halts the expiration of your present form, which means you can you can stay in one form for uh, 30 seconds. Okay. I wonder what the hell, hell that was about. But I could stay and say, say uh, the third form. I don't know the animal name. I could stay on that one for 30 seconds. So that's kind of its compensation for a perfect balance being up to a two-minute cooldown. If that be in the case, then yeah, this is actually a pretty awesome ability right here. This could be a pretty good substitute for um for perfect balance in. So I guess six sided star would be most effective then when um when you have a cooldown that's like five seconds or less or maybe down even one second. And if you don't if you don't need that ability right that minute, or if you want to save that ability for a later at a later time, start casting this. You know, I mean if a if a boss is down to 1% and all of your stuff has come off a of cooldown, or, or just about to come off a of cooldown, start casting, start casting this. So this could actually be a good way to finish off bosses in. It could also be, you know, like if you don't, if you don't need your current cooldowns at that moment, if you need to save them for a little bit later, then yeah, start casting the hell out of this then. So I could, I could actually probably see me playing with this a lot then. Um, over, but overall I don't don't really like this a whole lot. It, 
reeks of World of Warcraft. Uh, a lot of WoW's abilities are based on this now. Charges. It, it should... It should at best be... I mean, for one, the point is moot. The cooldown, the current cooldown is already 30 seconds. So, I mean, having two charges of it, it's almost moot. They probably want you to maybe leave one on the tank, like when you absolutely have to charge another target. But in most cases, the only time I really use that second charge on Riddle of Wind is just to get the extra stack of Grease Lightning. That's it. So, you may just as well leave this the way it is. Again, this ticked me off right here, down to two minutes, but after seeing that other ability, I'm fine with it now. And this one here is unchanged, which means I ain't going to be using it. And this is basically, you're basically inflicting a slow spell on yourself is what this is. And again, this... It should just be a hundred percent. Again, because crit chances are already fairly low. I think the highest crit I have, the highest crit I've ever seen, is like forty percent, and that's that's probably on my tanks, because they're all they all have between three eighty to four hundred gear, and they're all, I mean, they're all all their materia is uh, crit, and even then, it's a forty percent chance. So, whereas all my other classes, their crit rates are a lot lower. So, tacking on a 70% chance on top of that means they're gonna, they're not critting hardly at all. And let's go back up here. And I'm guessing, uh, I don't see it on here, but True North, it's, to me, it's a totally freaking pointless skill. Um, I think it has a duration of 10 seconds, so it's basically a one-time use. Unless you're, like, raiding or something where battles last an extremely long time, because it's, like, a 90-second cooldown, and yes, I'm aware that I, I'm aware that it was dropped down from two minutes. Still not enough. Uh, as far as what else can you do with True North, I don't, um, one idea I came up with is, uh, keep it at 90, but whenever, uh, whenever you successfully, uh, hit with a positional, the cooldown drops by six seconds. Or, maybe even, maybe even cut it in half, or maybe even drop it down to 30 seconds. You drop it down to 30 seconds, hell yeah, I'd, hell yeah, I'd be all for that. I mean, two, for the longest time, this is probably, this is one class I would not do solo content with. Because he was really gimped on the damage front, because when you're solo and stuff, it's next to impossible to be at a target's flank or rear. And, um, the, even if you, uh, set your chocobo to tanky mode, he sucks at it. He, he doesn't have a tank stance or anything, and you can't, you can't control when he does his, a, his, uh, aggro move. He does that on his own. Which it isn't that often. So. Earth reply are they ever used? This here, I can actually see using fairly often now. You know, just going off. If Dragon Kick is still in there, forgot to look. Yeah, Dragon Kick's still in there, but unfortunately it has a 10 second cooldown. Get up to three stacks, cast Dragon Kick, get up to three stacks. Keep doing that over and over. But I've seen enough of that. I've seen enough of this, so let's, um, uh, let me uh, look at the um, check out the forums now, and now, now I'll go ahead and show my ugly mug now.
And so now we're going to look at this here. After making a long thread about Monk after recent storm blood, I was hoping I wouldn't have to come back and play him. Five point of change. But here I am. Monk got help, several helpful changes. Uh, they did, but nothing I really jumped for joy over. Core flaws of the jobs, jobs have not changed. I agree with that. Riddle of Fire still slows us down. Yes, it does. Maybe. Maybe if they, uh. If they did something like all attacks are guaranteed crits. But weapon skill recast time slowed by 20% or whatever it was. I mean, hell yeah, I'd be using that more often. But yeah, I agree with that one. It listed a few, but did not address the single most crucial issue. Yep. Tornado kick still eats our grease lightning sacks. Um, it's a niche ability, but um, if you can plan for it, I mean, excuse me, if you can plan for it, it is it is usable. Um, the way I can the way I do it now, get the three stacks, cast tornado kick. Um, you can do perfect balance and just keep hitting like snap punch, snap punch in the or demolish, I think that's the name. You can keep doing that to get your stacks back, or you could um, you could um, work your way to the coral form. I think it is where you you do you do snap punch or demolish one of those three. You work your way to that point. Hit tornado kick. Hit one of those two coral attacks. Do riddle a win. You'll get two of them back. Uh, third one is is basically optional. You can go to perfect balance if you want or not, but you can get two of them back after using Tornado Kick. It's not that bad. Um, again, I said the same thing here too. It it can be a jarring rotation, but again, if you plan for it, it's actually doable. You can, um, again, it increases the cooldown of all your other abilities by five seconds. If you know ahead of time that you're, you're, gonna not, you're not gonna need your cooldowns anytime soon, if you're not gonna need anything with the cooldown, if you don't need to use any of them anytime soon, go ahead and use Six-Sided Star then. If it's gonna be about 10 seconds till you get you to your next encounter, then just do two of them. You know, that so it, there is a workaround for it. I mean, I kind of get what he's saying here, but again, I wouldn't be using six-sided star. I probably wouldn't be using it like in the middle of a boss battle. Or he kind of said the same thing. Where was it? Probably for when you need to move it away from your target. I mean, yeah, I could probably see me doing it then. If I have to run away from my target for like five seconds, then yeah. But again, it, it's, it's not an impossible skill to use. It's these ones here. These are the two that I was talking about. And these were just in the way. Howling Fist, I think, is the one I was talking about earlier. It's a it's a line attack. Steel Peak was just an off-global cooldown single target attack. It didn't need to be in there. It's kind of a waste. Um, no. I never treated it like that. Steel Peak, Elixir Field, and Howling Fist, I used all three at once. I didn't use Steel Peak at the exclusion of the other two, mainly because it, it becomes too whack-a-mole otherwise. I just treated all three of them as though having a 45-second cooldown. I think that's what a 
Holly fist at it. It had the longest. I use internal release and um, perfect balance at the same time because they have the exact same cooldown. So I use those together. Hell, I don't even use that at all now. I can't have my attack slow down. It, he kind of said the same thing earlier because it just defeats the purpose of me getting three stacks of Grease Lightning to begin with. I mean, it does make sense to do it right at the end of Riddle of Fire, though, but again, I didn't use it. I, I don't use it. Yeah, like, I mean, it's like I said before, if I don't need my abilities for five seconds, then yeah, I'd use it. Fist of Earth and... Yeah, it, these, two, these two needed to go bye-bye. I mean, it, you deal 10% less damage now unless you know you're going to kill the monster in the next two to three hits or something. And not much point in using these. You might as well keep a... Might as well keep a riddle of fire that deals extra damage. I think it probably deals... You deal 10% extra damage in that stance, but... Yep, he basically said what I said. The point is moot. I mean, yeah, um, Riddle or Fist of Earth, you deal 10%, or you, know, you take 10% less damage, but you switch to Fist of Fire, you deal 10% more damage. So the point is moot. the point of Fist of Fire. Well, I like Fist of Wind because I move faster. And it, it kind of helps toward help towards helping keep up with uh, speedy tanks. Especially when they like to pull big. It also greatly comes in handy in Eureka, where uh, I, have to, I often have to spend my time running away from monsters. I need the extra movement speed. Otherwise, they can they basically move faster than I can and they'll start getting in hits until eventually I die. That's what happens on all my other classes that don't have a speed buff. Much request increase lightning four. If we assume it grants some standard increase lightning. Fire is now 10% damage buff. Uh oh, hiccups are kicking in. Oh, a three minute minor. Keeping the two. Uh 
Okay. I believe the core concept of Monk is a job based on Pat. Yes. Um, but um, like I said before, as far as solo content, they're gimp greatly. You'd have to basically grossly out gear the content or whatever it is you're soloing to where um, the damage loss isn't that big of an issue. But I play Monk because I want to be able to go, you know, I want to go rear, rear, flank, 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 rear, 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 flank. I, you know, I actually want to be able to, you know, run back and forth between the, you know, basically dance around monsters. But when soloing, a lot of the fun gets taken out of it. You know, maybe another, uh, maybe another, another upgrade they should do for Shadowbringers is uh, improve the defender stance on the Chocobo. You know, give the Chocobo a tanking stance to where every attack he does has increased enmity. But as it is right now, I think he only has one, maybe two moves that actually do that. And they're done pretty much randomly. Chain together in a natural rhythm produces a satisfying stream of attacks. This feels good. We do not want to have this stance. Monk did get some nice... Yes, I said the same thing. And that man has a very welcome ability, though. Grease Light is extended downtime. Even if there's no outgoing damage. Six side of stars. A neat idea that gives Monk something. Talking for a few seconds. Yes, I agree with that. It is a doable ability if you plan for it. Chat, enlightenment. Uh, kind of yes, kind of no. It's... I don't think it's any better or worse. It's just done differently. Okay, I'm gonna... Having a full three-step AoE combo rotation is very nice. Oh, let me look at that again. When I'm, in, when I'm in this screen here, I'll have to turn that off. So, it's saying uh, there's positionals over here, but... Okay, I see what... I, okay, I just noticed this too. 120 to all nearby enemies. I understand why they did this now. Okay. Because the way it is now, the way my AOE, AOE rotation goes is hitting that and then going to Twin Snakes, which is a single target ability, and then going to Rock Breaker. I see what they did. They improved the flow of this. Now, well, uh, all three of these are... Okay. They improved the flow of uh, AOE now. This can go back on. I'm not upset today. Neither am I. I would like... I actually would kind of like to have seen... Seen this still in the game. Just maybe in a variant form. Because currently, you can only do it when you're in form 2. I don't know the animal name. Raptor form. I think it's the second form. You can only do it in that form. I would like to have seen maybe, maybe have it like a like a paladin's uh, shield bash, I think it is, or yeah, shield bash, I think it was. You have to be in. You can use this as long as you're in a form. You can use that, but uh, but still be on the uh, global cooldown though, not an off, not an off one.
Arm of the Destroyer finally get renewed usefulness? I think now it deals more damage. And um, and if I'm guessing right, it looks like they're removing TP now. So if they're doing that, then yeah. This is going to see a lot more use right here. And I'm starting to... I'm starting to feel the same way on this as well. Oh, liking this. Um, yeah. I'm I'm slightly leaning towards pessimistic. It looked like they were trying to fix what they're trying to fix what wasn't broken. Oh, and um Probably for a short for a short time, I'm gonna go down the rest of this uh, forum thread, and I'm gonna comment on everybody else's posts. I mean, I'm not I'm not calling anybody out, not trying to embarrass anybody, but a lot of times I can get more inspiration looking at other people's posts when when doing this. So. Oh yeah, and I I like the base on his name too, Pang Tong. He's a character from the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms universe. He was one of the greatest strategists of all of his, of his time. He was also one of the ugliest, which uh, made everybody made everybody scoff at him. Didn't even give him the time of day. However, I don't like the AOE changes. He kind of said the same thing here. It was basically a moot skill. They just... It was based... It was... It was called Howling Fist. And it was basically a 45 second cooldown. So... That's all it was. Tornado kick being back. Being useless. Yep. Not completely useless. Like I said... I can plan around it. It is? I checked it was a one second it's a one it's on a one second recast it, it looks like it got up to 1.2 agree with that one a nat man's cool and in case anyone does for those that don't know what a nat man is it was this one here Halt the expiration of your grease lighting in your present form. You got four stack you got four stacks and cast that, it stays at four stacks for thirty seconds. Uh increase the stacks of grease lightning, uh I don't know how much that is or if it gives you a full four. We'll see. And your present form. So if you uh see so you you could and I'm assuming you could even you could even form shift if you want to. So if you're currently in um if you're currently in coral form, which is uh form number three but you don't need anything in that form, you can form shift your way to raptor form. Like if you want to say, if you want to use twin snakes because your buff's about to fall off, you can do that and it'll stay in that form. So yeah, I can see a lot of use in this now. But... Riddle of fire, slow down, yep. kick each gl3 in and of itself that's bad but again you can compensate for that by a by a good planning good resource management i mean i i do it all the time it's what it's also one of the reasons why i like to solo stuff 
solo stuff like Eureka, where uh, fights take a long time, so it actually gives me a lot of practice. Gives me a lot of practice in getting all this down. Whereas uh, most of the time, when I'm running hunts, stuff doesn't stay alive long enough for me to really learn anything. Uh, running duties, I'm basically, ultimately, I'm spending more time just trying to, trying to keep up with the tank than anything. So I don't, you kind of learn stuff, but you're kind of, you're kind of doing it under pressure. So, shoulder tackle upgrades, yeah, that's not an upgrade. That's not an upgrade. You want an upgrade, you lower that recast down to 15 seconds, not 30. Plan to rely on perfect balance, which is now on a two-minute, two-minute cooldown. Snap punch spam and a. Or you could just cast a nap man and just. Or get make your way to make your way to form number three, cast that and just, you know, do that too. So. Piss of poop and riddle of poop. Agree with that. Um, again, I would be one of those rare few that would actually stay in Piss of Wind just for the extra movement speed. Like I said, it it's it's a very underrated uh, feature. It's a very underrated buff, the extra movement speed. Just like I am. Fist of wind all the time. Um, I don't even do that currently. Even after using tornado kick, I still stay in fist of wind. Especially if my uh, shoulder tackle is off cooldown. Again, cast tornado kick. Or make sure I'm in my form number three first. Cast tornado kick. Hit my form three attack. Hit um, hit shoulder tackle twice. One for regular, one for riddle of wind. That gives me another sack. So I come, I get two of them back after using three. So it's not a complete loss. This is a complaint. Of, this is a complaint of mine too. It needs to be fifty uh, percent for rate for level one, hundred percent for level two. Again, it's not everybody. Not everybody has very high crit. Like I said earlier, I think the highest crit rate I have is on my tanks, and it's forty percent. Yeah. So yeah, it, this deep meditation. It, it, again, it should they need up the percentage on that. Again, and I'm I'm also thinking of uh running stuff solo as well. Because of, I mean, if you're in a party, you know you get, you're with a dragoon and a dancer. I guess they have a 25% crit buff, and with scholar, change strategy on what that is is uh it's an a, uh, it's an ability to. It makes the makes the target like five percent more likely to be crit. I think that's how it works. And just realize this, yeah, I I didn't know that a uh, brotherhood only worked with weapon skills, and that was it. I thought it worked on any ability. Um, I think form shift could be improved, but overall, I like it. 
Like maybe I'm thinking. I'm trying to come up with an idea. Oh, God. They're some kind of I mean some kind of trade or something that allows the uh, allows you to shift shift two forms instead of just one. I can't think of anything at the moment. Is a double GC. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, six side of star is already a five second cooldown. If you cast it, does that make it a ten second cooldown? Okay, fair enough. If it's just to maintain. At the tail end of Riddle of Fire. I mean, you'll be slamming this in the middle of your rotation for more. More slowdown, yay. Yeah, that does make sense. I guess it seemed like an in interesting idea in theory, but after reading that, yeah, it, that just makes things even worse. And again, Here, let me highlight this whole thing here. The other thing, they want to hit fast and often. But again, I didn't... I never use I never use these separately. I always use them together, along with Elixir Field. I just hit all three of them at once. Because Steel Peak, all it is is just an off-global cooldown single attack. That's it. So... There's really not many situations where I would want to use Steel Peak over anything else. Um, Howling Fist, it, for what it does, it's on two, it's on a 45 second cooldown. For what it does, it's not that impressive. So I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I. I'm cool with them being gone too, but not, not for the, but apparently I must use these totally different than everybody else does. Okay, but let me go on to the next guy. Uh, Muck, after using Dragon Kick, which is a, so this basically turns it into a four hit combo then. Didn't even think of that, yeah. They got rid of Steel Peak, but they went ahead and compensated by doing this. Yep. Yep. Bingo. Come on. Up for removing blunt debuff. That's exactly why. That's exactly why they did it. The way it works now, uh, Dragon Kick, it inflicts the target with a. It lowers our blunt resistance, meaning you deal more damage. agree with that too I just thought of that seem right since blunt it affected it affected all the monks attacks got an extra potency every other global cool yep Like I said, 
they nerfed perfect balance big time. They compensated by that nap man ability, but turn it now that I think about that, no, not completely. I can still see it being used. But I could I could probably maybe uh maybe up to three times during the uh a nap man period. kind of agreeing with that too I mean like like what the um the threat like the thread maker said they did some things that made the monk a lot more fun but all the changes they but all the nerfs and stuff they did to it it doesn't make up for it well like somebody said one step forward four steps back that's pretty much my opinion on that Yeah, but he pretty, this guy here pretty much said what I was feeling. This is probably my verdict on it, too. I mean, yeah, when, when Shadowbringer sits, I'll, I'll probably, I mean, it'll probably be the first DPS -er I play. I mean, I'm probably going to play my tanks first, since that is my favorite role, tanking. So I'll probably, I'll probably bring my tanks to 80 first. And then, um, then probably all the monk would be after that. That, that'd be the, that's the current plan, though. It could change later on, but but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it. Yeah, I mean this is like an hour hour long video. I wasn't expecting it to last this long, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off. The rest of the pages are the rest of the pages on this thread are probably just gonna be rehashings of, all, of what I've been previously talking about. So, well, I just had a mouthful. But thanks for watching and see y'all next time.